Is winter getting you down? You don't want to miss this episode of Get At It. So let's get at it. Hi guys, welcome back to Get At It. Today I want to talk to you about insulation and how it's going to benefit your home. With our climate changing so much, we need to then rebalance the temperatures in our home and our office. And the most cost-effective way to do that is through the use of insulation. And this is where it's going to benefit to your home. First point I want to make is that insulation is the king of energy saving. It is the most productive in helping you save energy within your home and is 600 times more effective than any of the ENERGY STAR rating windows, appliances, whatever that you can buy. So installing insulation into your wall cavities, your ceiling cavities, and under your iron is gonna be the best way for you to get the most savings out of your home. Now all this insulation go, can go into all parts of your home, into all your wall cavities, your roof cavities, under your floor. By doing this, you are creating a more effective barrier to keep out heat but also to keep heat in it'll make your air conditioners run a lot more effectively by basically think about an esky putting that lid on the esky if you're putting it onto your your ceiling cavity as well so think about that when you're doing your new builds or your renovations where do i need insulation and why why do i need it in that position at that point in time the other example may be you may be having a theater room or a media room so think about sound insulation I know some people just think, oh, we'll put up with it and it won't be that loud. Trust me, it will travel through those walls and it will go through to other people's bedrooms, into your lounge room when you're trying to watch that great, that great movie that you just want to talk about. So think about that when you're actually doing your renovation. But what type of insulation do you put in your home? There's plenty to choose from. Um, there's heaps out there from your bats to your blow-in to your reflective and what's going to work best for you. Well, you need a professional to come out and have a look at your home because not all insulation is going to be the best benefit for what you're trying to achieve. The most common form of insulation is glass wool insulation. And that's the one that we can all probably remember as being very itchy, very irritating to our skin. And yes, it is. It is irritating. However, after a quick wash, uh, it will get a lot better and, and dissipate after about 30 minutes. You can then go for what they call uh, a poly insulation which is non-irritating exactly the same properties as our glass wool it just has that that effect that it will not irritate your skin you want to put something under your iron to reflect the actual heat away from your roof cavity as well and the best way to go for that is with reflective insulation okay reflective insulation reflects up to 91 percent of the sun's rays from your roof and yes you can get it in different thicknesses and filled, as you can see here, with foam or just with air bubbles, okay? So that's what you can go under your iron to help that as well. The other thing about insulation that we haven't really touched on yet is that it's great for the environment. As you stop using your air conditioners so much or your heaters so much, you are using less of the Earth's resources. Therefore, you are helping the climate repair itself and move on. From now, a lot of people that we go and do quotes for First thing they say to us is, can I get the highest R value for my insulation? And yes, that's great. It is thicker insulation and therefore people think it'll work more effectively. It isn't necessarily the case. When you have a professional come out and view that, sometimes with the different properties of your home, a lower R value will work more effectively than a higher R value just because of the attributes of your situation. So don't always think about getting the highest R value, therefore you're getting the best result for your property. Talk to the professionals and get them to evaluate what you actually require. Thanks guys for tuning into this volume for uh, Get At It featuring on insulation. I uh, hope you got something out of it. Remembering that any insulation you put in your home is going to give you a great benefit and obviously a great return on your investment. Look forward to speaking to you soon. And the winter is coming. Oh, my God.